I'm back with the video after a long time of not posting. Yesterday I was looking through my videos and I was like, hey, what should I do? Um, so today I decided to just bring out my favorite 1960s albums. I want to start off with saying that none of these are Beatle albums because I'm just going to be biased and I'm going to want to talk about all the Beatle albums. So, I mean, all of them are my favorites. I'm not including those. So aside from my Beatle albums, I'm going to be talking about my favorite vinyls that I own from the 60s or that were released in the 60s. First one is Ins Inside Out, Insight Out, and it's by the association. And my favorite song in here is Wendy. And the birds are one of my favorite 1960s bands, maybe not top favorite, but for sure one of my favorites just because they just bring me a lot of nostalgia when I listen to them. I don't know why, but I really love Turn Turn Turn. I love this album, but I think I might like T Tambourine Man a little bit more, but I don't have that vinyl. But I do have Turn Turn Turn, which is great, and I love this album a lot. I think I like every single song in here. I don't really skip any songs when I listen to this album. Next one is Tangerine Dream by Kaleidoscope. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite 1960s psychedelic albums. I actually have um, Peter Daltrey as a friend on Facebook, so I'm so happy. He's a singer and songwriter for this band. Um, this band has inspired so much. Um, as you know, if you follow me on social media, I am making clothes and what I have in hope for the future is that one day if I do continue making clothes, have a clothing line, I want to name it Kaleidoscope Dream. And it has a lot to do with two of these albums in here and a little bit with the Beatles too. Um, but the name Kaleidoscope as the name of the band and then Dream, like Tangerine Dream, but, but instead Kaleidoscope Dream. So I kind of mix those two together. And I just love this album so much. I bought it for $50 at Austin when I went to go see Paul. And I went to the record store and I've never heard of this band before. And it just like stuck with me a lot. The name and everything, the album cover. And I was like, okay, I, I didn't buy it that day because it was $50 and I had no idea who this band was. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go home and I'll listen to them. So I went online and I listened to them and I was like, oh my god, I need to get this vinyl before I come back home. So the next day in the morning I called and I'm like, do you guys still have this vinyl? And they were like, yes, we still have it. And I went to go pick it up that day and I'm so glad I bought it. I do not regret purchasing it at all whatsoever. It's one of my favorites. If you have not listened to it, go ahead and listen to it because it's just a really groovy album, very psychedelic. I really recommend this band. And Peter Daltrey is amazing. He's so nice. So, um, it's such a great album. Another inspiration for my clothing line name, and this one is from Protocol Harem. Um, I didn't mention, but Kaleidoscope has a song called Kaleidoscope, so there's also that, um, Proco Harem also has a song called Kaleidoscope, and I love this album. I purchased this the day before I purchased the, the Tangerine Dream, um, but I absolutely love Proco Harem. This one includes a wider shade of pale. Um, when I look for it online, the album online doesn't include a wider shade of pale, and it's the first song actually, and I just love this whole album, I, this is one of those albums that I can just listen to over and over again completely without skipping and I just love it so much. And if you haven't listened to it, I recommend going to listen to it. One of my favorite albums of all time, I constantly am listening to ver Visions of Your Reality. I always say Versions of Your Reality. I don't know why, but it's Visions of Your Reality. If you have not listened to that song, listen to it. It's my favorite song in the entire universe. It's so beautiful. The words are so beautiful. And it's just an amazing, amazing song. Another great song in here is um, Mind Flowers, Guided Lamp of the Cosmos, Jazz Thing. 
whole side one is just a masterpiece. Side two is masterpiece as well. What I really like about this album is that it kind of takes you onto like a journey and kind of like a dreamland. And the last lyrics in this whole album, it just repeats. What does it repeat? It repeats come into reality or something like that. It's um, wake up to reality, wake up to reality. And he keeps chanting it like to wake you up to the, the reality because now the album is over and now you have to go back to the real world. I don't know, I just, I love it so much. And that's one thing that I really, really like about this album. The last album I'm gonna talk about today is Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley sage rosemary and thyme i love this album it's a really short album i think it's like 28 minutes so it goes by so fast it has such a great great songs in here every single song in here is so good um it's gonna be hard to pick my favorite probably my favorite off of the album is seven o'clock night silent night just because it's just so emotional and it hits me. It's playing the nudes along with them singing Silent Night and it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I cried when I first listened to it. Sometimes I'll cry too because it's just like a message of peace and hope and it's just telling you in the background too all the bad things are hap that are happening in the world. So that, that I don't know, that hit me hard. Um, Next one I really like is the 59th Street Bridge song, which is also referred to feeling groovy every time I'm dressed up in a cute little mod outfit or a 60s outfit and I'm strolling around. I play that song in my head. My boyfriend even told me that that's my theme song, which I, I would agree. I love that song and I'm always feeling groovy. 1960s vinyls that I own and I hope if you haven't listened to these you guys give them a shot and listen to them because I absolutely love it that's why I'm here making a video about it and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on my favorite 1960s albums and I hope you guys have a nice day